after the strong magnitude 6.5 Nevada quake, large aftershocks continue. And let's keep this in mind. Look at that seven thing that looks like a, on the western part, going through Salt Lake into Yellowstone and then turning west. That is the mantle plume, magma underneath the area coming from Baja, California, coming into the area of uh, through Salt Lake, where we've had the recent 5.7 earthquake, up into Yellowstone, make, making a curve right there into Idaho. And this is the same mantle plume. As you can see here, this cross section, there it goes, that mantle plume into Yellowstone, and then turning west under Idaho, which is uh, very close to the surface, as you can see. And we're going to take a look at the maps, giving us the location of the many volcanoes in Nevada as well, just west of Long Valley Caldera. This is the uh, crater of the moon area of Idaho, north of Boise, Idaho. We had the 6.5 magnitude earthquake that uh, still is giving us large quake swarms in Idaho, about 190 miles west of Yellowstone. And uh, this is the Nevada uh, volcanoes, as we can see. And this is, again, the magma under the area. This whole area is magma underneath. It's all connected. It's the same mantle plume from Baja on the west going into California on the east towards Yellowstone. Here we are at Volcano Discovery. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. And uh, this is Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City where we had the 5.7 on March 18. And then we had another one, 5.3 Northwest Texas. And then after that, we had a March 31st, uh, March 31st, 6.5. This is our 6.5 a couple of days ago in Nevada. As you can see, this is the biggest one here, the 6.5. 2.8 kilometers depth, and the blue are the past day, the red is the past hour, 4.6 as you can see. This just happened. 12.8 kilometers depth, and this is, we can, we can see, is all, nobody has yet, three people have yet reported. Let's pull out here. I want you to see the activity. Okay. We'll see the shake, shaking, but this is the activity, and it's, linear activity you can see it's creating a line from southwest to northeast I, in the walker lane fault system this is long valley caldera this is long valley caldera where we've had uh, a number of quake swarms in this area and um, as you can see some somehow it's uh, becoming active in a linear form um, that was a big earthquake. 6.5 was a big earthquake. And from what the geologists are telling us, this is, okay, this is Ridgecrest. This is where we had the July 4th, 6.34, and then the 7.1 the day later on Ridgecrest, and we're still having earthquake swarms there. And this is our latest map now. The long, the cross of San Francisco is Long Valley right there, and this is our 6.5 that came out a couple of days ago right here, okay, on the 15th. We'll take a look at that later, but this is um, Salt Lake City where we had the 5.7 on March 18, and this is the Idaho where we had March 31st, 6.5, and we still have the earthquakes going on there. These are only the earthquakes that are above 2.5. If we go to uh, all of them, as much as possible the past week, Okay, it takes some time, and we'll get that on, but this is, uh, okay, we'll let that work out. Let's go into our 6.5 and the shaking, the shake map right there. Okay, this is the Mono Inyo craters. This is uh, Long Valley right here. As you can see, the whole area has been shaken. Okay, let's put that in, we'll see. And our tectonics and faults. Okay. And as you can see, if we pull out, you 
because the shape map only includes the area of this square. But if you extrapolate, okay, that's the, um, it takes some time. I don't know why it was happening. This is the, uh, the Juan de Fuca plate. This is the San Andreas Fault. This is, of course, Long Valley Caldera right, right over here. You can see the whole area has been shaken. This is Yellowstone right there. This is Craters of the Moon. You can see the lava flow right there. This is Salt Lake City, that lake right there. And if you extrapolate, you can see that this whole thing has shaken, obviously. Look how intense the shake map is. It is probably shaken this whole area. Okay. Um, going back to this. And... I'm sure uh, hundreds of thousands have felt this. Okay, going back to this. Okay, that's our shaking. Walker Lane Fault System. As we know, it's 25% um, of the shaking has been taken, uh, the subduction pressure has been taken by Walker Lane Fault System. Walker Lane accommodates up to 25% of the North American subduction. Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. San Andreas takes up the rest of about 75. About two dozen five-plus magnitude earthquakes have occurred within 100 kilometers of this event over the past 50 years, mostly to the west and south. Two magnitude six-plus earthquake events have occurred in the same region in the past century. And this is what we have 6.5 now. Okay, so it's one of the biggest earthquakes in this area. And let's go to our um, volcanoes, the nine volcanoes. We know that we also have, this is still not up? Okay, it's up now, okay. Uh, okay, here we are at Yellowstone. And if we pull out the past hour, you can see how many, have, and the past hour is still very active. This is the uh, Baja mantle plume going this way, San Andreas and Walker Lane Fault System. Of course, this high threat volcanoes of California sit on the Walker Lane fault system. And um, the other hand that we saw going making that seven goes like this. That's, you can even see the seven going through that fault line and um, under here. And that's still active. Okay, this is the, these are only the quakes this past week. So you can see even Salt Lake is still having quakes. And of course, uh, Idaho. Salt Lake has eight volcanoes south of Salt Lake City. And uh, one of the uh, er youngest ones to erupt was 660 years ago. And then we have Idaho is still active, as you can see. That has nine volcanoes there. Now let's go to our area of uh, Nevada volcanoes. Okay, another nine volcanoes in that area. So nine volcanoes here, eight volcanoes here, and nine volcanoes here. And of course... Um, we have the Wawa supervolcano as well in this area. You have, we have the Vallis volcano as well. We have the uh, Long Valley Caldera supervolcano, the Vallis supervolcano, the Washington, the uh, um, Yellowstone supervolcano. You know, this whole West Coast, of course, has a lot of volcanoes, a lot of beautiful mountains. Um, and this is, of course, magma underneath. Tectonic uh, earthquakes, subduction earthquakes, subduction pressure. We know that uh, also Long Valley is deforming, is inflating. Uh, we have a geothermal plant there as well um, because there's magma underneath. Okay, these are our volcanoes in Nevada. Buffalo Valley, Steamboat Springs, Aurora Bodhi, Lunar Crater, Adobe Hills, Reveal Range, Clayton Valley, Timber Mountain. There we go. Lunar crater volcanic field is a zone of volcanism covering 300 square kilometers at the southern end of Pancake Range, Nevada. It contains numerous cones and lava flows. And we go into Soda Lakes, two lake filled basaltic Mars, explosion crater, Soda Lake and Little Soda Lake. Steamboat Springs is a volcanic field of rhyolite uh, lava domes, up 20 kilometers south southeast of Reno, Nevada. Is between 2.5 and 1.1 million years old, consisting of lava domes and flows. And we know we had 2.1 million, 1.3 million years ago, we had super eruptions in Yellowstone. 
Timber Mountain, volcanic field located about 150 kilometers northwest of Las Vegas, Nevada, consisting mainly of basaltic cinder cones and lava flows. It has been active in three major cycles starting 12 million years ago, most recent eruptions, let's go and see. Okay, there we go. Most recent eruptions probably occurred less than 10,000 years ago. Timber Mountain's eruptive history consists of three episodes, 12 to 8.5 and a half, a half million years ago, 9 to 6.5 million years ago, 3.7 to less than 10,000 years ago. Older volcanic centers of Timber Mountain volcanic field are called, include small basaltic scoria cones and lava flows. And uh, so this is all area of volcanic field, as you can see. And um, areas that are not far from our map, let's pull out, Salt Lake City, which is another eight volcanoes here, and another nine volcanoes here, and that's uh, Yellowstone Lake. So this whole area here, of course, is full of volcanoes. This whole area is full of volcanoes, and of course, uh, California, all the high threat volcanoes. And of course, right here we have Right here we have, uh, which, which one is this one? This one is Aurora Bodhi. It's just across from, there's Aurora Bodhi. That's, uh, that's California. This, is, this area is Long Valley Caldera, Aurora Bodhi, Nevada, and Long Valley Caldera. Okay, let's go in a little bit, and you can see that right there. Okay. And these are, of course, this is Ridgecrest. These are the past earthquakes. Today, the blue and the past hour, this one here. Okay. And uh, Long Valley Caldera. And this is our uh, magma underneath. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful because we have uh, very increased earthquakes going on there. Thank you for your support. God bless you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.